business and what you're spending that time on, okay? So those were the huge game-changing pieces that I had, I had to make changes on in my business. Um, and maybe I was the only one that there, was there, so maybe none of you were there. <laughs> maybe you are. <laughs> okay. So the next thing um, is get a buddy. Number four is get a buddy, okay? Find someone at the same level or at, at the same level as you or higher than you that, that y'all have very similar goals and you're wanting to go the same place. Um, because this business is hard to do by yourself. You know, we're at home by ourselves. We have to make ourselves get on the phone. We have to make ourselves do things that are not always fun to do by yourself. So get someone that you can work really closely with. Um, it's a lot easier to do this with somebody else. I connected with another director at conference years ago. We stayed in touch over a lot of years. And when we were, we were kind of both at the same path in our business all along, um, in the career plan path. We were both stuck in the same place for about 10 years. <laughs> so when we really started working towards building an executive team and we had the same goal, we worked really closely together. In fact, we worked so closely together that we both had been in this business for over 10 years and we promoted to an executive team within one month of each other. Wow. That's how closely we worked together. But be careful how you pick this buddy. No negativity, okay? You cannot work with someone who is negative about anything, okay? Because that's not getting you where you want to be. Um, you need somebody who will build you up, not bring you down. Um, so that brings us to number five, is no negativity. <laughs> um, as a leader, everyone on your team is watching you. And this is really important um, with where we are in our company now, because our company is making a lot of changes. And every single change our company is making is to better us and to put us in a better place. But as leaders, they need us to stand up. Our team does not need to hear us whining and complaining about any change that this company makes, okay? We need to stand up for our company and back the changes that they make. Because I promise you, they're not sitting up there thinking, well, what kind of change can we make today that's gonna make their life miserable? <laughs> that's not what's going on, okay? So, you know, whether you're a fan of the change or not, your team never needs to see that, okay? So we really have to, um, you know, put that positive attitude in for our team. You never want your team to see you doubting anything about your business or about the company or anything. Um, so always keep a positive attitude about everything, even when it's not easy. Um, don't ever let any of that negativity um, or, or doubt or any of that spill over into your team. Um, and to be able to do that, you need to hang around really positive people. Um, never let anyone or anything change you, okay? Um, or, or, you know, allow you to, to doubt what's going on with your business, with the company, with, with direct sales, um, or any of it. Um, don't give that control over to someone else. Keep that control for yourself. Um, you are in the right place. I want you to leave here this weekend knowing you are absolutely in the right place. Um, so, let me say this nicely. <laughs> okay. um, so, I'll be honest with you, I lost some good friends um, because of having to make some hard decisions in my business. But if I had allowed myself to get caught up in that, I would not be where I am today in my business, okay? You need to guard yourself and you need to be very careful about who you spend your time with. And you need to spend your time with people that are moving you forward and building you up, not bringing you down, okay? And, uh, and that's really hard, that's really hard for me to say because I lost a lot of good friends. Um, but I made some great new ones. <laughs>